Did you hear that? You know what that means. Something's just arrived in the magic mailbox. Let's see what it is. The tiny sores go to school. The tiny sores go to school. It's an exciting day for the tiny sores. It's Rory's first day of school. His bag is packed. He's ready to go. Learning is going to be cool. Claudie and Spike have so much advice before they tell him goodbye. But Rory's much too excited to listen. He can't wait to give school a try. All the kids are gathered together for the principal's welcoming speech. The students are all set to learn and the teachers are ready to teach. But Rory can't wait to start learning. He finds it so hard to sit still. Claudie and Spike watch him closely. They know he'll soon learn the drill. Rory's first lesson is reading. D is for Dino, he cries. How smart you are, says his teacher. What a happy surprise. She points to an A on the whiteboard. Who knows what this letter is for? But there's only one letter for Rory. D is for dinosaur. In Claudie's class, they are singing. Their voices float out through the door. But Claudie's voice drowns out the rest. Grunt, growl, roar, roar, roar. When the kids go outside for recess, Spike becomes everyone's friend. They play dinosaur in the middle. But his horns bring the game to an end. Uh-oh. Claudie heads off to find Rory, who's having so much fun. He's playing Chase the Dinosaur, and he has to run, run, run. Spike is busy learning times tables, but when he gets up to four, he doesn't have any claws left, so he can't count anymore. He makes his way to the library because tiny sores love to read. But he's having trouble choosing. How many books does one tiny sore need? Rory is more than ready for lunchtime, but he doesn't like mac and cheese. He wants his favorite meal instead. I'd like a lizard sandwich, please. Luckily, Claudie and Spike arrive, and they've brought a packed lunch to share. Lizards aren't on the menu. You gave the lunch lady a scare. Rory is enjoying his art class. The kids are finger painting today. But Rory has another idea. Tail painting is a much better way. Spike's eyes light up in the science lab as he races into the room. But he mixes up the wrong chemicals and his experiment ends in kaboom. The children warm up in the gym before they pick their teams, while Claudie practices ball skills. She's a natural, it seems. Now the game is in full swing and Claudie shoots. She scores. Ah. The children on the sidelines burst into cheers and roars. As the tiny sores start to make their way home, Rory has drawn quite a crowd. Everyone wants to be his friend. Claudie and Spike are so proud. Rory's first day of school has been a success. He's made friends and so much more. I've learned a brand new letter, he cries. T is for tiny sore. Spike has baked a batch of cookies and the theme is ABC. Hands up for those who love school, he cries. And Rory shouts out, me! The end. Thanks 
for joining me today to read the Tiny Soars Go to School. That looked like a fun school day. Are you getting ready for school? If not, maybe this year, maybe in a year to come. School is so much fun, and I think Rory had a really great day. Well, I hope you have a great day too, and I'll see you soon.